Hello and welcome to a new Blender Let's Build tutorial. Today we look at auxiliary maps again and we continue with the inner edges. Um, first, I want to advise you that, you that there are two ways of how you can create edges, the edge selection in Blender. So one way you have heard often is you just create a geometry node and then you create a bevel node Put it to a value maybe of 6 and to a 0 0.04, maybe like this. And then you use, of course, a dot product, which is a vector. And there you have the dot product. And then you just connect the normal map to the dot product. And if you go here, you see, OK, we have the edges. And then you have to continue with the range map node to invert everything. And there you have your edge selection. Of course, you can tweak it so that it's more obvious. But the problem with this method is we have all the edges selected. So if you go here, you see it's not just the inner edges or the outer edges. It's all edges, basically. And we don't want that. So what? how can we just select the inner edges, for example? which is very useful for dirt. Um, so I came up with a method. It's not a perfect solution, but it's a solution. So what you can basically do is, instead of this, you can use an ambient occlusion node. And from there, we just connect it to a range map node. Just connect it straight. And what we need to do is we need to invert it first to a value to 1 off to 0. And we need to change the distance, of course. So what you can do is uh, 0 0.015 value. And now we have the edges. And the thing is, it's still not that great but it's it's okay it's okay i think but still some of the outer edges are still selected so what you can use uh, what you can do is you can just increase the contrast to maybe 0.7 and you can decrease it to minus 0 0.03 so what you see here if i go to 1 um 0.1 or maybe just 0 you see that you get a, some of these artifacts. And these artifacts are just caused um, by the subdivision level. If you go down, you see it becomes more, much more obvious. So um, this is one of the disadvantages. So you need to increase your subdivision levels to get cleaner edges. And of course, minus 0.3 value, uh, 0 0.3, and then the other selections are most of most of them are gone. It's not a perfect solution, but um, it's a solution just to select the inner edges. So I um, hope you enjoyed it. Definitely, some of you have a better solution to this, just to select the inner edges, because if you look here, they are both selected. So if you have a better solution for this problem, just let me know because I'm also a person who also likes to improve his workflow. And um, yeah, that's, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, see you next time, how to create outer edges. And God bless you.